Good Sunday evening. I'm still reporting on the coup. The latest Trump shooter is 58-year-old Ryan Routh, a former construction worker from Greensboro, North Carolina. Former President Donald Trump is safe and unharmed. Uh, following a protective incident shortly before 2 p.m. on Sunday at Trump International Golf Club at West Palm Beach. Uh, the U.S. Secret Service personnel opened fire on a gunman located near the property line, and this matter is under investigation. Former President Donald Trump safe following the second assassination attempt on his life in the last two months after the Secret Service fired shots at a would-be assassin outside Trump International Golf Club in West Palm Beach, Florida yesterday. The 58-year-old suspect, his name Ryan Wesley Ruth, is in custody this morning after Secret Service agents spotted an AK-47 style rifle poking through the fencing near the fifth hole where Donald Trump was playing a round of golf yesterday morning. He was putting on the fifth hole. Authorities say he was between 300 to 500 yards away from the former president. We will be speaking with the sheriff of Martin County, Florida, who pulled the suspect over on I-95 yesterday after he fled in a black Nissan shortly after the Secret Service fired shots at him. Yeah. Good. Uh, for more, let's welcome in former assistant director with the FBI, Mark Morgan. Mark, uh, great to have you in this morning. When you look at this guy's record, uh, Ryan Wesley Ruth, um, he's 58, as Charlotte said, several arrests since the 1990s, drug possession, driving without a license, driving without insurance. Uh, Mark, this one kind of stuck out to me. Uh, 2002, this guy barricaded himself inside the office that he had at his roofing company for three hours with a gun following a traffic stop, what is described as a routine traffic stop, by the way. So this guy clearly had a screw loose, um, clearly. Uh, but what, take us through where you are on this. Obviously, we're continuing to learn more about the shooter. Um, and the scene where this happened, I mean, anybody that's been down there uh, knows how exposed that portion of the golf course is, the fifth and sixth hole. Take us through, Mark, where you are and what might have happened here. What you're seeing right now, it really shows a degree of planning and preparation. Is that what you see, those, those two black bags, they're not really bags. In my opinion, what we're seeing is what's called a, a ballistic plate. And, and ballistic plates are, are a, a version of body armor. Uh, but sometimes what you see police officers wear are flexible Kevlar body armor that can generally stop a handgun round. But when you start talking about ballistic plates, which is what I think is there, is those are actually designed to uh, stop a more high power rifle. Mm. So he was expecting to potentially get high power rifle fire from the Secret Service agent. What I see there is what we call a, a shooter's or a sniper's hide that he's actually set up. And then, of course, he's got the GoPro, which I think is just a quintessential self-aggrandizement that right. he's looking for to gain more uh, of fame with respect to what he did. But that took some planning. And here's one, one quick thing, Rob, is that that took a few minutes to set up. So that's even more unconscionable that he was able to access, but then had a few minutes to actually set up and prepare uh, yeah. for his shot. You know, do we hear from this guy? Lee Harvey Oswald, before he was taken out by Jack Ruby, you know, we all heard, I'm just a patsy. You know, and, and, and we saw him several times, and he was interviewed. But do we hear, okay, why did you do this? What motivated you? Um, a month ago, he tweeted out that democracy is on the ballot and we can't lose. That's a line that Joe Biden has repeated over and over again. That's a line we hear every single day uh, from the media, MSNBC, CNN. If you read the Washington Post, if you read the New York Times, I think they are single-handedly radicalizing these people and mobilizing them to do what we saw play out yesterday and then what we saw play out in Butler. And I, I said it an hour ago, but you, you got to go back to 1981, the last time somebody took a shot at a president, John Hinckley, Ronald Reagan, okay? And here we are, two in the last two months. Clearly, something is going on here. No, so after this man was uh, fired at by that Secret Service agent, of course, he hightailed it out of there. And then again, as you said, a person walking by witnessed this man leaving, knew enough that, hey, there's something wrong here, got out their cell phone, took a photo, and then took a photo of the license plate as he drove away. And then what happened was after they were able to pull that guy over on I-95 with confirmation of the license plate, they brought that witness to the scene on I-95 on the side of the road. And that witness said, that is exactly the man I saw running out of those bushes. It's remarkable to think if that one person wasn't walking there, who knows if this guy would have gotten on the highway. I-95, as you know, goes all the way up to Maine. 
He could have hightailed out there. They had no witnesses. There was no Secret Service. There was no FBI. And there were no local police on that road where this guy had a clear view of the former president. To me, that's just shocking. It, it is. Look, once again, 60 days later after the first assassination attempt, I, I haven't heard this enough, but we should be saying this is another colossal failure of the uh, Secret Service. There's no hand, and, and this on the on the leadership perspective, this is a colossal failure. And Charlotte, to your point, by the grace of God, that civilian was there. I'm telling you, yeah. if that civilian hadn't been there, if he hadn't taken the pictures and gotten actually good images of the license plate, so that they could use local law enforcement to go on their LPRs, their their license plate leaders. Right now, what we would be talking about is what stage in the nationwide manhunt mm -hmm. that we're doing for someone that almost was able to kill President Trump. This is where this all took place. Um, and we're talking about the fifth and sixth hole. So Trump was mm -hmm. putting on the fifth hole. He's on the green. And then if you play golf, you know, the next step is to tee off. He would tee off right near that, just to the right of that. Mm -hmm. uh, and that would be his the tee box for the sixth hole. That stretch mm -hmm. where you see the road there. Um, that is Congress Ave, okay? That stretch is only about 1,000 feet long, okay? That stretch, about a fifth of a mile. That stretch from road to road, right there, 1,000 feet long. And then it's Summit Boulevard that goes off to the left there where you see the six hole. You're telling me you can't get a cop car and a guy with binoculars there? Just to, you don't need them all day, by just the way. Just a deterrent. Just when he's hitting on six and putting on five. That's yeah. it. Then that guy can go away or move to the six hole. But when he's back deep into the course, you don't need that kind of security. But it just seems like when I look at what's gone on with Donald Trump in the last several years, two impeachments, four indictments, 34 convictions, 91 charges, two assassination attempts, and they keep failing. They keep failing. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you've got to think that maybe something divine is involved here, Mark. But at some point, they're not going to fail. That, 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 Rob, that's exactly right. And Jonathan, a, a little bit ago, said it right. And that road that you're talking about, first of all, you, you both, I couldn't have said better myself. The road, it's straight. It's a straight shot. Yeah. And, and then Jonathan said, who he's an expert in VIP protection as well, is like it wouldn't have taken a lot of resources to actually cover that to prevent somebody from coming into those bushes. And look, the sheriff yesterday, he said something that was appalling to me. I said that that because of his level, meaning referring to President Trump, he's not the acting president, is that's why there wasn't a, a perimeter security. Mm. That, that's that's outrageous. We know that Iran is planning to kill him. We know he's already suffered one failed assassination attempt. We, he's a GOP leading candidate. He's the most widely known, recognizable person probably in the face of the planet. Routh was mentioned recently in a New York Times article that tied him to MSNBC terrorism analyst Malcolm Nance. Who the Russian hacking in the 2016 election, it's not meddling. It was literally a large-scale cyber warfare operation against the fundamental principles of American democracy, and that is a free and fair election. And I don't care what side of the political spectrum you're on. If you don't think that America's elections should be integral, should be secure, should be fair, no matter what the outcome is, okay, you are working in, along with the effort of this Russian operation. Their job was designed to, to make people believe you cannot trust Americans' infrastructure. You cannot trust American democracy. A New York Times editorial derided a pro-Ukraine group called the International Legion, which recruits foreigners to join Ukraine in the war effort against Russia. Routh is mentioned twice. Nance is mentioned in this article 12 times as someone with an intelligence background. Malcolm Nance, a former Navy cryptologist and MSNBC commentator, arrived in Ukraine last year and made a plan to bring order and discipline to the Legion. Instead, he became enmeshed in the chaos. Routh was spotted hiding in the bushes of Trump's golf course. Secret Service agents, who were one hole ahead of Trump, noticed the suspect, but apparently took no action until they saw him raising his rifle. They fired four shots at Routh before he could get off a shot at Trump, but failed to hit him. He did, however, drop his rifle and run. When the agents surrounding the president heard the shots, they swiftly tackled Trump to the ground and covered him. An armored vehicle was quickly brought up, 
and Trump was whisked away to a more secure location. Ralph was seen getting into a black SUV-type vehicle to make his escapes, and the vehicle was stopped on Interstate 95. As a poster named Icarus posted on X, how did he know Trump's schedule and tea time? How did he know to take position at that hole? We all know. According to the New York Post, assassin Ryan Routh donated exclusively to Democrats since 2019. Routh's son, Oren Routh, told the Daily Mail that his father is not a violent person, but hates Trump, as every reasonable person does. Oren Routh also claimed that his father is not a violent person. All he's had is a couple of traffic tickets, as far as I know. However, Derek Shields on X posted a printout of Ryan Routh's criminal record. Between 1984 and 2019, his rap sheet is over 50 pages long. It shows that on April 23, 2002, Ryan Routh was charged with possession of a weapon of mass destruction, a Class F felony. Here's a video of Ryan Routh as he was being questioned by police in Hawaii asking him why he was in Hawaii. Tell me who you are and why are you here? Uh, I'm 56 from the U.S., US uh, from North Carolina originally, so I live in Hawaii now, so flew all the way from Hawaii here. So the question as far as why I'm here, to me, you know, a lot of the other conflicts are gray, but this conflict is definitely black and white. This is about good versus evil. This is a storybook, you know, any movie we ever watched, this is definitely evil against good. I mean, we're battling a situation here where, you know, the U Ukrainians and the rest of the world are caring and kind and, and generous and, and unselfish and, and take care of one another. And it's just a matter of, you know, we need to stand up for that. That is the most important thing in the world is just to show human beings that we're kind and we're caring and that we take care of one another and that the world is united so that we feed each other and make sure that, you know, we, we all move forward as, as one collective whole unit. So, you know, we feel the pain of, of one country's failure and their conflicts and we enjoy the successes of, of other countries that are doing good and, and we all work together and for some reason... Russia does not grasp this concept that we're we're all one unit and we have to get along and work together. And surprise, he is a proud LGBTQ plus member. This just in, President Trump's golf outing was a last minute decision, sources tell CNN. This round was not on the public schedule, and the public was not informed he'd be there, never mind at what exact time he would be at hole number five. No, there is only one answer here. Ralph was tipped off by someone on Trump's Secret Service detail. That's the most likely. Secret Service has got to go. They can never have any access to Trump's schedule going forward. There are plenty of former special forces and special operations, including Delta Force folks, who would gladly do this security job for free until Trump was reelected. And incidentally, the Citadel of World Freedom is the headquarters of these folks. I'm still reporting from just outside the Citadel of World Freedom. Good day. <laughs>